Today, we made fizzy hard candy for the first time ever. Ready when you are. I'll drill it right now. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh my God, it's fizzing up down there. <laughs> I'm getting the fizz right away. We might find ourselves just making hard candy from now on. Yeah. No, no more chocolate, just hard candy. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. How do you think today's gonna go? Yeah, today's the first day we're gonna try uh, sour, yeah, sour popping uh, or fizzy hard candy. Do you know candy. what we're even gonna call it yet? Fizzy hard candy? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I know mom's still coming up with a name. I don't know. Gonna have citric acid and baking soda, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> we were just making a half a batch. Just to test it out. Just in case it's an absolute disaster. Yeah, <laughs> then I don't have to throw away a whole batch. <laughs> just a half a batch. So how do you know how much to add of everything? This is what we call an educated guess. <laughs> Not kidding. Um, first, uh, for citric acid, we always use two cups for uh, a 24 pound batch. But today, the first batch is gonna be a half batch. So we're gonna use half the amount. Okay. And from the recipes I have seen, a lot of them have a, two, a one to one ratio okay. for the um, citric acid versus the baking soda. Okay, so like a top of each then. That's what I'm shooting for. We're gonna, that's what I'm doing. We'll see what, how it works out. That's why we're just doing a half batch first, see how we like it. Because I've only really seen very small batches of this. And, or a lot of them have, like they make it the, a powdered center. So they also have confectioner sugar, mm. which we're not doing. This isn't a center. This is gonna be mixed all in for the, mm. the fizzy in your mouth feeling. Mm. Wait, so someone made like a fizzy cream center? Uh, no, it's a fizzy um, hard candy with a center. Huh. Th apparently that's a thing. Hey, how come we don't do that? Uh, I don't know. You gotta talk to corporate? Yeah, yeah. See if they're okay with it? Cause, well, one of the recipes I got was from Lauren Oils. That's where we get all our oils from. They had like, a cola candy. You said that you would do a cola candy if you can find a good flavor for it. Well, mostly people were asking for soda flavors. And yeah. col cola and root beer are the only ones we have. Yeah. Well, I could do get we, cola. Do we have a cola. No, but oh. I think if this works out, if this fizzy works okay. out, then we'll do this. Do, did we even talk about what we're doing here? Yeah. We did? Mm hmm. How do we. They know what we're doing? Yes. Uh, oh, wait, so is this going to be like a red pour? No, it'll be, it'll be amberish. Oh, okay. So it looks very. Looks pretty red. Oh, it smells good. Mm hmm. It's strong. Mm -hmm. You want me to put down right now the one that we're pouring it? Okay. You guys making medicine? Yes, cherry cops are good. Sugar, what's that song? Sugar helps the medicine go down? A spoonful of sugar. <laughs> the medicine I think it's a spoonful down. of medicine helps the sugar go down. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the sugar, that's always they have a hard time getting sugar down. I know. They love their medicine. Do you have enough sugar in your diet? Ask your doctor if sugar is right for you. <laughs> Ask your kids if sugar is right for them. <laughs> this is a message brought to you by the Candy Makers Association of East Syracuse, New York. And they're in cahoots with the dentist industry. <laughs> uh, no. No. I would never. Do you want a bucket of cold water, Steve? It doesn't seem like you have one to put your paddle in. Do you wish oh. you had one? Oh, yeah. Not to pour in the candy. I'll go get one. It's 8.38 a.m. Do you know where your bucket is? <laughs> it's out front. Put a hot water just helps get rid of the uh, sugar crystals. Yeah, it just dissolves it. Makes it easier to clean. I don't have to scrub it. Yeah. <laughs> you can soak while you're pouring candy. Yeah. This is only a 12 pound batch. 
was the last time you guys did a half batch? Actually, we did one uh, recently. Yeah. What was it? Uh, because we were trying something. <laughs> well, I know we've done ghost pepper. Was it brittle? Some kind of brittle or? I don't know. Gonna have to go to the game film. Yeah. I kept waking up last night thinking about this. Yeah? What are you thinking about? Is it gonna work? How will it taste? I want to make sure they did the baking soda and citric acid, not baking soda and malic acid. <laughs> Or baking powder. Just because we're doing actually or salt. I'm looking for a spoon to stir up the. Oh, they're both in there. That'd be yeah, bad to mix up uh, salt and sugar or something. Salt and huh? sugar. What if we did that as a prank one time? Salt. Yeah. <laughs> you fill up a sugar bag with salt. <laughs> April Fools. I wonder how that would uh, how that work out. That's so good. A salty one. Huh? Yeah, that'd, that'd be know, a salt by candy. Oh, that'd be really salt. Now this is supposed to be red, so we're going to put kind of a lot in here. Quick silver dollar. The whole batch is supposed to be red. Oh, that is supposed to be red. Not pink. Not silver. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any silver dollar color. I was reading for little micro batches of fizzy candy that okay. you actually could use baking powder. Mm. They said. Hmm. So what the heck? They're all carbonated. It's not that different. Well, baking powder is made up, I believe, of baking soda and something really? else that I don't know what it is. And powder. Yes, gunpowder, sawdust. I don't know. One of those things. They're both edible, right? Well, um, I'm pretty sure. I think I read somewhere that they use. Um, Thought us to extend certain things in prison food. Hmm. I'm not kidding, I read that. And you can't lie on the internet. Well, I wouldn't want to go to that prison. <laughs> which, one, which one would you like to go oh, to, Steve? Okay. If you have your choice, I want the one with the good food. The one with the good food. You realize it's supposed to be a punishment, right? Well, okay, we're doing this. Ready? This is the, this is the moment we've all been yeah. waiting for. Not fizzing up, Tom. Not yet. Oh, actually, the fizzing doesn't happen until you add liquid to it, which is what happens when you put it in your mouth. This is actually a lot you're of. Just, you're putting a lot in, remember? Because you're. No, doing, no, no. This is for what? This is for a half batch. Wait, but think about it though. Like you usually put in two cups of right. baking soda for a whole batch. Right. For, instead of putting in one cup. Right, but now you're still doing two cups for us for a no, half batch. I know there's the like those two in there. Uh huh. Right. But just like look we at usually do two cups of malic acid and two cups of citric acid oh, for a total of four, four cups. Oh. Yes. I thought it was oh. two total. No. Yeah, it's we don't know anything. Total, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you're doubting me because I didn't have the flavors. Because I. Yeah, let's get this. Because hmm. the flavor I didn't, um, I didn't cut that in half, so that's what you're thinking. I messed up everything, but I only messed up a little bit. Uh, I would I would rather check and oh, be yeah. wrong than not check and be like, well, we should have said something. You don't want it to be too much <laughs> in there. No, it know. also just looks like a lot. It is, and some might leak out. Yeah. But that's why this is an experiment, because if this doesn't work out, well. You told me last night you don't have a plan B. Well, the plan B, well, I kind of have a plan B. I don't have a plan B for the day. Yeah. My plan B, if this almost works out, but we still don't like it, we'll just throw this in garbage <laughs> and try again on the next batch. We can even do cherry again. Mm -hmm. That's my plan B. But okay. like if for the day, if this is a complete failure, and like, no, we're not doing this ever again, then I don't have a plan B for the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, I told Julia it would be to cry in my beer. But it's too early for beer. Cry in my hot tea? That's not true, Dad, is it? <laughs> it's never too early. Now, this looks like it's going great. It is. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like. Yes, this is what you want. Think about the tie-dye, how the tie-dye starts out so messy and stuff, and it comes out beautiful. I can't wait to try this, even though I just brushed my teeth. Mm -hmm. I really do hope it fizzes in my mouth. Well, the only thing I'm thinking that could that I might need to really adjust is possibly the baking soda. Because as I said, yeah. a lot of them were one to one, mm -hmm. but a lot of them were less baking soda, more citric. So mm, okay. we're just trying it out this way. This is our baseline. Our maiden voyage. Yeah. 
If you're a business owner, then you know that now is the calm before the holiday storm. But you can prepare yourself and your e-commerce website for the holiday rush now by using ShipStation. Whether you're shipping thingamajigs from your house or whatchamacallits from a warehouse, ShipStation can help increase your profitability and save you a ton of time. It personally saves me time by auto-filling the shipping labels, which avoids errors, and keeping track of all shipments so that I can spend the time more wisely, whether I'm building relationships with my customers arguing with my husband about who really came up with the idea for that new candy or taste testing vegan cheesecakes for my son's YouTube channel. ShipStation also effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. You can easily manage orders, print labels, compare rates, optimize every shipment, and automate shipping notifications. So set your business up for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Hercules and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Hercules. And thank you, ShipStation, for sponsoring this video. Did you see a YouTube video about how to do this? Yep, that's, that's what I cool. did. I watched the tutorial before your first day of work. Yeah. How to DIY. How to DIY. <laughs> how to DIY. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, okay. it pretty well. This looks good. I, and guess. I don't think you need a hammer. I think it's not hammer time. Uh oh. Nice. Good work, kids. We try hard. We eat right. That'll be an Olympic candy maker. Yes. The games, 2024. See, I, I probably would have just gotten a couple of points taken off because I kind of slipped off like that. Oh, yeah. It was a very bad dismount. The judges, they probably would uh -huh. frown upon that. Yep, you'd be frown all around. Oh, she's a little I know. You're losing all kinds I of points. I know. But that's okay. You ready, Steve? As yep. Dad says, it's not the size, it's the taste that counts. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, this is a 12-pound batch, so I think it matters. Since this is a little, so little I'm just going to pull it right here. Cause Instead of using the old uh, yeah. thing? Yeah, I think so. Wow, you know the old-fashioned wow, way, huh? Wow, this is extremely old school. <laughs> Got the oldsters doing old school stuff. If it, as long as it stays warm enough. Yep. Yeah, I think you, you probably know what you're doing. Yeah. You watched the tutorial today, Mom. I think he knows what he's doing. Not your first rodeo. When you guys said this weekend, but how do they think that I, I know everything I need to know by my second rodeo? <laughs> Is that enough? I saw a meme of someone sitting in a chair that said, me and my second rodeo. <laughs> the same, my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I'm liking the color. Good job, Steve. That's what they call you, right? Good job, Steve. Yep. Well, actually, since it's such a tiny batch, I probably don't need to go around the corner with it. I'm going to stay right in the line of the fan here. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> Can we call somebody? Ed's not up yet. Well, maybe he is. I don't know. We haven't really talked about that. Ed, Helen, what time do you guys get up? <laughs> Answer in the comments. That's right. So I know when I can call you. It's a little bit cooler here than it is down there. Uh, this is cooler than the old one right here. Right here. Because so of this, I think oh. we are this, this way. Okay. So the heat stays down low instead of right at me. So is it cooler here though than over there with this new one? Yeah. Okay. Over there is warmer. Mm, that's the warmest spot. Yep. All right. Good to know. Which is it? Over there is warmer or over here is cooler? Right. Who's on first? Yeah, it didn't. 
or uh, a fence? Foam, fuzz up or foam or fizz? Fuzz, fuzz up? I mean, uh, blow up or. The fizzy fuzz is supposed to happen. Didn't blow up on us or anything. And that's so far, what if it explodes in the bag? Did you think of that? The what? What if it explodes in the bag? Explosive yeah. candy. Yes. That would not be safe to sell. Ask your doctor if explosive candy is right for you. I don't think anything. Something you have to ask. <laughs> All right. I think it's always going to be a home. Trendsetters. If your doctor says it's okay, I would say it's enough for Give me. you, doctor. <laughs> Ask your doctor if your doctor is right for you. <laughs> if your dentist says candy is right for you. Three, two, one. Oh, it takes a second. It does fizz. It's kind of like tingling on your tongue. Mm hmm It's not exactly like Pop Rocks. But more in? Mm-hmm. They like hurt your tongue weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the citric or the baking soda? It's probably the baking soda because that's the new ingredient. <laughs> Julie's like, I don't know if I like this feeling. They're like, it's weird on your tongue. <laughs> Steve doesn't have any taste buds left. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be fizzier. Yeah. Or kind of bubbly. Like, mm -hmm. it just like makes your mouth foamy. Yeah. I think that's what it's supposed to do, though. Is it? Mm -hmm. I never had foamy But candy. have you ever had Pop Rocks? Yeah. I thought it was going to be more like that. Hmm. Some candies are made with actual CO2 added to them. Mm -hmm. And this isn't I think that's that. what yeah. Pop Rocks are. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they do that, though, do you? Uh, they, they are above my pay grade. Mm. Do you want to add a little more than the next batch? Mm -hmm. A little more baking soda? So More baking soda? Okay. Yeah. Make it more, more fizzy? Like two and I a mean, half each? I can taste it, but... It's not so much a taste we're looking for, it's a texture. Yeah, yeah. We're it's making my mouth very foamy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is it? Especially if you have it on your tongue. If you don't have it on your tongue, I feel like you don't feel it as much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Like oh, to, yeah. yeah. You have keep to keep it on it. your tongue. Yeah, because if you just have it in like the side of your mouth, it so makes you don't your really mouth like it. watery. Yeah. Okay, I get it. So mm -hmm. you have to include instructions for how to eat this candy. Keep it on your tongue. Keep Unless you don't tongue. like that feeling, then take it off your tongue. I think pop rocks, too. You have to have it on the tongue. I still um, think you should put a little more. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't or want the baking soda to overwhelm the flavor of the candy. No. But maybe a half cup more, like you said. Those are going to be the full batch. Some reason. Oh my god, it's fizzing up down there. <laughs> For one, you scared me. I know. <laughs> that was the whole Because right before, Julia was like, wait, Steve, it's not going to fizz up, is it? It's going to overflow on the counter. <laughs> this is like the most bubbly um, I have ever seen any batch. Maybe it is bubbling up. You know what? This might be a lot more like, fizzy. It looks like the moon. It honestly looks kind of creepy. It looks like the, what are those people that have, like, fear holes? Oh, sure. tryptophobia? Oh, that's, okay. that's true. <laughs> wait, that's are they scared of bubbles? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, holes maybe. No, would you this pop? isn't a hole. It looks like it. Though. Yeah, but it's just like this yeah, it's, a... it's just kind of unsettling. Yeah, it is. Pop them all in pop there. Pop that one. Sometimes they're loud. Yeah, Wait, this one that's what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that one is thud. Ooh. Yeah, that was oh, okay. This one. Yeah. It's, it's like whack a mole. No, oh. these ones aren't ready. These are whack, ready. whack a bubble. These ones aren't ready. Okay, let's let's do our job. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's such an awesome color. Yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's take it off. Let's see before it come off. Now we're 
Uh oh, where's the stripe? <laughs> we forgot. Oh no. We're all solid today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the fizz right away. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping it on my tongue. Oh my god, mm -hmm. it makes it so foamy in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Foamy, it's fun, fizzy. Fun food for your mouth. Foamy, fizzy, fun, foamy, and fresh. <laughs> fun, foamy, and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of it. Like the ocean. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does. It's so foamy. It's, it's fizzy and, and foamy. That's how I'm going to explain it. Y'all like it. Do you get it now? Okay. Yes, no. <laughs> and I'll have two and a half, just right. So if you're making this at home, a 24 pound batch. <laughs> just two and a half cups of baking soda. Mm -hmm. That's the act. Yeah, when you use, when you pour it on your own, at home on your cooling table. table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Tart and fizzy hard candy. So today, everybody who walked through the door, every customer that walked through the door, we forced them to ha try whichever. They were very one. willing victims, though. I must. They say. were for the most. Yes, they were. Nobody really resisted too much. I mean, <laughs> I did put a couple of people in headlock, but hey, they had it coming. Um, everybody loved it. Yeah, I heard a couple of people who like all the batches weren't even done. They're like, I just want to buy this. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, by half of the people that tasted, they're like, Yes, I want to take some with me. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm going to call this a rousing success. But this is as crazy as Super Sour was. That was mm -hmm. Super Sour was introduced almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. We might find ourselves just making hard candy from now on. Yeah. No, no more chocolate, just hard candy. Yeah. Fizzy, Super Sour, we're done. That's yeah. it. Well, I mean, people should definitely know. I think we already mentioned a bunch of times in the video. It doesn't taste or it doesn't feel like Pop Rocks, but it just feels like kind of fizzy in your mouth. Yeah, because so Pop Rocks. I just don't want to be misleading. Yeah, well. I think you have to actually inject right. CO2 into that. Whereas this is baking soda and it's it's your mouth. You have to introduce liquid to it, so it's, it's your mouth that uh, makes it fizzy. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it, it's fizzier when you, you keep it on your tongue. That's where you're going to yes. get the fizz. If you're just kind of like moving around your mouth, no, nope, not like so much. Candy yeah. yeah, but if you leave it on your tongue, it's fizzy. Yeah. It's crazy stuff. It's fun. It's okay to play with your food. Flavors? Uh, I tried the lemonade. You did? It was fizzy. Not yeah. overly fizzy, but just the right amount. I gotta try all the other flavors. Stuff. Yeah, I actually really like the green apple the best. Oh, okay. 
That's like my favorite regular flavor. So. Oh, then you'll really like that one. <laughs> and I, I think that the color came out. That one and the red one, which I think is cherry. Those ones I think color wise came out the best. But it was they were just having like a really hard time making everything vibrant, just because all of the uh, you know the white powder it just makes everything. Oh. Much well, more they pastel. look really good. Yeah. Good colors. But like mom kept saying, we need more color. We need it, more. Oh, color. it kind of at least the lemonade one. It reminded me of like Fruit Loops. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, like flavor-wise? Yeah. Yeah. It's, honestly, it smells like, I was saying either Fruit Loops or trip, Tricks or like Fruity Pebbles. Mm -hmm. And uh, Scott was like, is it, oh, it's Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Honestly, I think they all kind of smell the same. So. Smell the same? Yeah. Because I was saying that like when they were adding the flavoring to the kettle with that, that it smelled like that. Oh, that smells, okay. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we have been talking about doing this candy for a long time, so it's nice to finally see it actually being made. 8.6. And how many bags do you think it's gonna make? Um, I don't know. However many labels she printed. Yeah. I think it's like 100 or something. Well, like how many bags do you guys usually get from? I never print the labels, so I don't know. Oh, so the printer prints the labels probably knows. Um, yeah, mom, mom knows. Okay. You I, guys, do you guys have to write down like she probably, inventory wise? She probably, yeah, she probably already put them on the website. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I can't tell by looking. Either, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> if I had to guess, hundred. Yeah. Hundred bags is eight ounce. I, I have no clue. Mm -hmm. I've never. No one's ever asked me, and I've never had to know. I thought mom said something around two hundred and fifty. Oh. But. I Does don't she know. mean like including 16 and 8? I don't know. You know how like so, sometimes when you think of something, you're like, I for some know. reason this number sticks out. And I don't yeah. remember exactly why. I think that's that's what's going on in my mind right now. I don't. <laughs> I just bag it. You do what you're told. Mm -hmm. Are you throwing that away? I was throwing it away. You didn't like it? No. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 